One of my favorite scenes in any television show ever was from the great classic show Malcolm in the Middle. And there's a great scene in one of their episodes where the dad comes home after a long day and he goes to turn the living room light on and the light is burned out. So he goes to the closet to get a spare light bulb, but the shelf in the closet is loose. So now he has to go to the toolbox drawer to get a screwdriver to tighten the shelf but now he finds that the tool drawer is squeaking. So he goes to a different closet to get a can of WD-40 to lubricate the drawer to get the tool to fix the shelf to change the light bulb, but the WD-40 is empty. So he's like, ah, so he jumps in the car to go get more WD-40 and the car is running really rough. And then the next thing you know, he's like halfway under the car and the engine's removed and the wife comes home and she's like, hey, did you change that light bulb? And he's like, can't you see that's what I'm doing? That's the story of my life sometimes. So, as an example of that, I have an, um, an enormous pile of uh, retro computers and video game stuff that I'm eager to work on and play with and restore and have fun with, but I keep finding myself pushed back one step at a time by something that I need that isn't working right or isn't complete yet. And at the moment, the thing that I am focused on is this adorable little Sony TV. It is a tiny, I think, eight or nine inch Sony Trinitron CRT television. I picked it up at a local thrift store a couple of years ago for not much money. And I stuck it in my storage locker, figuring I would get around to using it someday. And today is that day, except it has a problem, which I think you'll be able to see here. I happen to have a Super Nintendo connected to it. I'll just pop that on and you'll see what I'm talking about. The TV works, but the colors are completely out of whack. The image is nice and sharp, but it's... The colors are bonkers, which is kind of amusing when you're playing a video game like Total Carnage, but it makes it completely mind-bending when you're trying to use this as a monitor for a computer. It's, it's not really great, and it's not the experience I'm looking for with a video game. That should not be a dude with a purple face and weird green background and everything else. So the colors are all out of whack. And to fix this, the TV should fix it itself. These TVs, as Best I can tell from looking at the service manual, they have a, what they call a degaussing coil built in. That's a loop of wire around the inside of the case that should be blasting it with a magnetic charge every time it turns on to reset the magnetic field that attracts the electron beams that light up the color phosphors on the inside of the glass tube. But on this TV, that isn't working. It's not degaussing itself when it turns on which leads me to my reason for making this video, which is right over here. I ordered about a week ago this thing. It is a degaussing coil. I've wanted one of these for as long as I've been a nerd, which is a pretty long time. It's a big loop of, uh, I think, copper wire, probably, inside of a ring. You plug it into the wall, you hit the switch, and because we use 60 hertz alternating current here in the U.S., it's going to generate a magnetic field that switches polarity 60 times a second. I've been watching videos on this thing quite a bit to anticipate how I'm going to do this. I've never used one before. I've seen people use them on YouTube, and that's about it. So I'm going to plunk my phone here. I'm going to pop this thing open and plug it in, and we'll see if I can fix this TV without murdering every other device in my house and burning my apartment down. So cross your fingers, stand by, let's see what happens. All right, here I am. I got the degaussing coil plugged in. It is not currently turned on. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually fix that, stand by. I ran the power cord through it by accident. Let's fix that, there we go. Feels like I'm holding a giant plastic and metal donut. Okay, plugged in again. And at least according to the videos I've been watching, I just hold this thing right up close to the TV, turn it on. Wow, that did a thing. And now I'm just gonna start moving it in little circles and backing away from the TV. Holy crap, it worked. Look at that. It totally worked. That's the best this TV has ever looked. 
That was awesome. Awesome. Damn. That was awesome. Okay. Uh, sweet. So that's how you use a decousin coil. You're welcome.